And that's how baby video doorbells are born. I'm Jamie, and I'm a video producer at Assurian. Over the last year, I've gotten married and bought my first house. Now, it's time to make that home sweet home smart. I'll do it with a little help from my friends and our Assurian experts. This is Home Smart Home. Welcome back to Casa de Jamie. Last episode, we got the smart home party started by setting up some hubs and some speakers. This week, I'm gonna install a video doorbell, maybe with a little help. So we don't have a doorbell, but soon after moving in, we realized we should probably get one. With a video doorbell, we'll be able to see who's outside, when packages arrive, and when random cats come calling in the middle of the night. There's a lot of options out there, so let's get shopping. To the internet. Ever since I set up the hubs, I've been doing a ton of research on video doorbells. I finally narrowed it down to my top three. First up, the Ring Video Doorbell 3. What I really like about this one is it can be wired or battery powered. Next up on my list is the Google Nest Hello. It gets good reviews pretty much everywhere I've seen. And I like the fact that it has facial recognition, so we'll know who's at the door. And finally, the Arlo Video Doorbell. It has a really good camera and wider field of view than most. It also has facial recognition and appears to be the most accurate at identifying people, according to the reviews. They all come with standard features like two-way audio, night vision, and motion detection. And for all three, you'll have to pay a subscription fee to unlock all the features. But here's where they differ. The Ring Video Doorbell 3 has the lowest camera resolution and doesn't offer facial recognition. The Google Nest Hello has all the bells and whistles, but not without a big price tag. Finally, the Arlo Video Doorbell has one of the better cameras and a more affordable price. You can't go wrong with any of these, but I like something that works seamlessly with my existing hub. And the only one that really does that is the Google Nest Hello. The other ones will work with the Google Hub with just less functionality. It's important to do your homework when you're choosing your hub to know which devices work with it best. The Nest Hello is a little bit pricey, but I think it's worth it if everything plays nice together. I'm gonna do it. I think I heard a knock at the door. Let's see if that's it. This hopefully is the last time I open the door not knowing what's on the other side. There it is. Let's get this bad boy opened up. Okay, here's what came in the box. We got our mounting plate. We got one that angles. We got this guy here. If you have an existing doorbell, double check your compatibility. This will go in the chime box. We don't have an existing doorbell, so we needed this guy, which is a power supply. Found one online, had good reviews. We got a drill bit, which is nice, and we got some instructions. Step one, get the Nest app. Got that already, so we can move on to step two. I went ahead and launched the Nest app. Then click the gear in the upper right corner for settings. Tapped on the Add Product button and simply scanned the QR code on the back of the camera. From there, it walks you through the steps for installing the doorbell. All right, uh, poking a hole in the brand new house, no big deal, here we go. Oh, what a rush. All right, uh, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> You're supposed to push up and snap. And the up is on, the snap is not. Hey Chris, you have a second to help me? Oh, is my manhood on the line? It is. Oh. <laughs> For some reason it wasn't going in with these wires down, so we flipped them to go up and we're gonna try that and see if that works. Thank you. 
Oh, that looks really good. Hey, Chris, you wanna go try the doorbell? Sure. Oh. Someone's at the front door. <laughs> there it is, it's working. Oh, good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try this out and I'll check back in in a few days. We've had the video doorbell for a few days now and gotta say, I really like it. I am getting bombarded by a lot of notifications for every truck that goes by, so I'm trying to reduce that. If you go in your settings, there's this feature called activity zones that allows you to create parameters on what you wanna be notified on. So I'm gonna create a zone and you'll see this box appear and I'm gonna have it go along my fence. So I won't get the truck notifications. I'll just get what is on my property. The facial recognition feature is also really cool. It can tell the difference between familiar or unfamiliar faces and even send alerts when packages are delivered. To set this up, you can go in your settings into familiar faces. Here you'll see a very unflattering collection of you and your loved one's faces. You can tap on a face and name it. This is my coworker, Brett, so now he has a name to his face. The Nest Hello doorbell is working seamlessly with my smart speakers and smart hubs. I was pretty intimidated going into the setup of this one, but it really wasn't that bad. I'm feeling pretty empowered that I did it myself and I'm ready to keep building out my smart home. I like the added security the video doorbell brings. And I'm even like a camera in the backyard or the side of the house. Maybe even a smart lock for the front door. Guess you'll have to see next time. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to follow along as I set up my smart home.